Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to go through how to mod Stalker 2. As always, I'm going to keep it super simple, to the point, and all links and step-by-step -step instructions will be in the description. There are already a ton of mods for Stalker 2, helping with performance, settings, weapon durability, weight, and so on, adjusting some of the more annoying things or making them easier to manage within the game. Before we go into it though, as always, read the mod description for compatibility, as some will only work with the Steam version or may require Cheat Engine to get working, and as always, just remember, when modding the game, sometimes it's handy to make a backup. So Modern Stalker 2 is pretty straightforward. All you need is a Nexus.com account. Takes two seconds, link in the description, and some sort of unzipping software. 7-Zip is what I use, I think it's the best, but there's WinZip, WinRAW, and everything else, whichever one you like to use. Next up, we need to create the mod folder. This is where the mods are gonna go. Now. I'll show you how to do it via Steam and for Xbox. So to find your folder via Steam, head into your Steam account, go to library, type in the game. So in this case, Stalker 2. I'm using Six Days in Fallujah as an example because I've got Stalker 2 on Xbox Game Pass. Right click on the game, go to manage and go to browse local files. And that will basically bring up the exact location where that game is kept. If it's in Steam, normally it's gonna be something along the lines of Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stalker 2. If you're playing on Xbox, click on Stalker 2, go to the three little dots up here, go to Manage, go to Files, and go to Browse. And it'll take you into your Xbox games directory. Now, this will be slightly different if you're on Xbox or Steam, but basically go into the Stalker 2 folder, go to Content, go to Packs, and you'll see a bunch of files looking like this, which have .pack and .ucas and .utoc beside them. That's how you know you're in the right place. So once you're in here, we need to create a mods folder. It's squiggly line mods. I don't know what the technical term is. We'll call it a squiggly line. To add a new folder, click up here, go to folder, put your squiggly line in. Mine is kind of above the shift key, so hold shift squiggly line or just copy what's in the description and then type the word mods in. Once you've done, you'll have a folder that looks like that. Now head back to Nexus mods and go to the mods you want to download. So the two mods I've currently got installed, no or reduced weight for ammo, nades, meds, and foods, and longer sprinting. So all you do is click on the mod. Remember, as always, read the description to see what it says. So an example of this one, you can reduce it by 25, 50, or 75. Come to files at the top, and then just select which one you want. So in this case, I'm gonna go for the 75% reduction. Click manual download and then click slow download. If you don't see slow download or fast download, it means you're not signed in. So just sign in and then click slow download. So once you've downloaded the mods you want, you'll have a file something along that. Because I'm using 7-zip, it'll look like that. Yours may look slightly different. Open it up. Now why I love 7-Zip is because you can just click and drag from there. You don't need to extract. Some, you may need to hit the extract button and extract the file first before putting it in your folder. But anyway, we're gonna click on mods. We're gonna click on this and then we're just gonna click and drag it into your mods folder or you can of course copy and then paste. But I'll just click and drag across. Obviously it's already in there at the moment. You can see there. Once it's in there, that is the mod installed. If you don't want that mod anymore, all you do is right click on it and delete it. And then that mod will be uninstalled. And then all you've got to do is fire up the game and then mods will be working. Absolutely perfect and really easy. Anyway, as always, questions, leave them below and let me know and I'll try and answer them. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.